What's up, what's up, yo? Welcome to Offset Trucking. Right now, I just wake up. Not right now, I've been awake for a little bit, a couple minutes. But I don't know if you guys can hear it. It's raining. Yeah, that's right. It's raining right now. But I'm about to run into the truck stop, brush my teeth, you know, get ready, get myself ready. So hopefully it stop raining so I can do my pre trip, you know, do my pre trip, do my post trip. And then, um, and then, oh, I gotta today, I gotta scale my load. I gotta scale my load, man. I feel like I make a mistake. I was supposed to scale my load somewhere really, really close to the shipper. I didn't, I didn't check that. I didn't check that, but that's a rookie mistake. Like, if you guys, um, <clears throat> if you guys um, just started, okay, you get your load. Once you get your load, look for nearest, like the nearest um, scale, scale rate so you can um, wake your load before you even leave. Because that way, if the load is too if 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 the load is too um too heavy it's too much and there's no way that you can fix it so that way you can go back to the shipper with it and then to the customer with it so they can fix it but <clears throat> this load that i have they say it shouldn't be that it shouldn't be too much because i'm not carrying heavy stuff but i'm at the truck stop i'm still gonna scale it so finger crossed hopefully it doesn't get to the point that i have to go back you know to the customer to fix it that would be sucks if i have to but stay tuned guys You never know, man. Nowadays, everybody got somebody that look like him. Yeah, they don't even know. My, yeah, my family is probably somewhere else. Somewhere right? else. <laughs> yeah, <it's wonderful. laughs> All right, man. Yeah, man. Take care, too. <laughs> yeah, man. Truck drivers that look like his brother. I got a twin, yo. <laughs> I'm done brushing my teeth, you know, use the restroom. So now I'm gonna eat something. But I think I told you guys before, once you get your truck, you know, you're gonna be in that truck for, let's say four weeks, for three, three weeks or whatever time. Like always make sure that you do some grocery shopping, like some, you know, light stuff so you can eat on the way because sometimes you might wake up in a truck stop you don't want to put some greasy stuff in your stomach in the morning but you get something to eat like me right now i'm about to eat this okay i'm about to eat this and then once i'm done i'm gonna do my pre-trip then i'll be ready to move to roll oh i'm gonna scale too so now i'm about to get out and I feel like that's a really tight spot, you know? Because remember, I got a 53 foot trailer behind me. And this is the space that I got, okay? So either I go straight, straight, and try to turn this way and go that way, or go on the other side. And they're not supposed to park there under that. I don't know if it's, I don't think it's a gas.
gas station. Yeah, it's a natural gas for vehicle, whatever. They're not supposed to park there. If they didn't park there, I would just go straight and turn around a little bit and then go in the middle of this, right? But them chokers, they freaking stop there now. It's kind of hard for me to get out. Now, this guy, if this guy would get out, he started his truck. I thought he was going to get out. But if he would get out, it would be more easier for me to just pull up and then get the fuck, get the F out of here, you know? But it started struck for a while now and it's not moving. And it's skirting. It's skirting still, still up. So I don't think it's, I don't think it's gonna move. Probably gonna stay there for a little bit. <laughs> but we'll see how it goes, guys. All right, guys. Um. I just stopped right here, man. After I scaling, done scaling my my load, and it was kind of heavy. I was heavy on the 200 on the uh, on the steer. So now, guess what I find out, man, on the trailer? Uh, that's crazy. But I had to slap my tandem, stuff like that, you know. That way I could be okay. And I had my guy helping me out. So now I'm gonna rescale it. Then I'm gonna have to call Schneider to let him know I got a nail on my thing, man. It's ridiculous, man. It's crazy. It's crazy. This is what I'm dealing with right now. And I'm at a truck stop right now. Parking. It's crazy, man. Right now, I'm still at the scale. That's my third time, man. That's my third time trying to re rate it. That's my second time we rate it, man. Because I make a mistake. I shouldn't come. I drove like two, three hours with the load without even check it man without even waiting so i don't 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 make that mistake man don't make that mistake now see if i can be legal now i'm in california way you see i'm at the uh, the truck the scale so now we're gonna wait it again hopefully i'm legal and, and ready to go man it's been a headache i'm out of tire shop okay i'm out of tire shop the day was messed up. I had good hope that, hey, I'm just gonna do my pre-trip, pick up my load. I already got my load. What I have to do is just go, okay? But as you guys can see, I show you I was with scaling my load. I scaled it like three, four times. I, I scaled it four times. I put it all the way California way. For people that doesn't know California way, it's like 40, under 40, 40 mark to put the trailer you're still um your your your, your drive axle on that 40 mark california way and i'm still overweight like i'm like 12,140 even with that california way so now i had to call schneider taking a longest time today is sunday they took a longest time to pick up and then when they finally pick up they tell me to go back to the sh shipper which is like i drove like two hours so it's two hours away go back to the shipper the customer so they can um make me legal okay so mistake number one guys always care always wait your load if you cannot the shipper do that or if you cannot do it at the nearest nearest wait wait um wait station not wait station um nearest scale that you can find because if you overweight like I, I am right now you will be back if you can't can't make yourself legal you can fix it you will ask to go back to the to your to the customer to fix it okay so now i've been waiting for like two hours two hours two three hours in that waiting now the, the guy finally come and the nail i show you guys the nail that stick out on the sidewall of the tire the guy told me oh it might not be leaking or we have to do it just we might just stick it out it might not be leaking i'm like okay let's see how that's gonna work okay but man i'm i'm more frustrated and it's not a good thing to be frustrated when you're driving okay so i'm trying not to so that's why like i told you guys with the always when you you're a wookie when you're looking for a job always always make sure the company have like a guarantee pay for a certain amount of time so he said that 
the guy just talked to me and he he took the the nail out on the side of the of the tire and he, he said that it's not leaking so i'm good to go okay but like i said guys always do those things like later on there's certain stuff i'm gonna see i might not care um not care but i might not really pay attention about them but right now even my dbl she told me that i'm doing a good job by checking those things but right now hey i gotta do what they teach me to do okay even though some of you guys might be like oh uh, you you could have just swore with it if you you know you can take the risk with certain stuff but me I can't be doing it like that, okay? Can't be doing it like that. Rookies, get a company when you first start it. Get a company that's gonna, um, that's going to pay you, guarantee, get, give you a guarantee pay doing your first two months at least before, you know. So that way, when you're losing time like this, when you're losing time like this, that way you don't get hurt. You still get a little thing coming. But man, it's really frustrating. The whole thing is frustrating, man. Um, but um, yeah, so now I'm going back to the shipper and then get it on scale and we see how it goes, man. We see how it goes. This load I had right now, I was supposed to deliver it today, but hey, it's not nothing I can do about it. It's a trailer problem. So they're gonna talk to the, um, wherever I'm going, the customer or whatever to to let them know what's going on and then yeah man hey doing my fifth this is my fifth day man this has been so frustrated so frustrated man hey but hey welcome to the to the trucking part right well you're better off than the driver i did last night jesus what, what happened to the other driver five tires flat tires yeah five tires well five tires bad yeah, it was another schneider uh down at the uh flying j in vandalia god dang he had all four down his left side were brake drugged to the steel Sheesh. and the out and the front outside on the right side was drugged to the steel oh my god he found it when he picked the trailer up and still drove on it he still drove on it he, he probably picked, he, he, picked, he picked it up at conagra foods up in troy and drove to the Flying J in Vandalia. Cause you know why? He's probably not a rookie. Cause if he was, if he was a rookie, he would pay attention to that. He would call. But you well, know, he did call. He called in and he said they needed three tires. He told me they needed the two left, the left front inner and outer, and the right front outer. Uh -huh. And I told, and he said their brake skidded. You can see the belts hanging out there. I'm like, well, man, usually if you get one skidded, the one next to it's gonna skid. Are you sure it's not four? Right. And he goes, well. My wife and I are a driving team. I was in the sleeper when she picked up the trailer. She said that she, when she inspected it, that's what she found. I'm like, well, can you get out and look and make sure if it's four or not? He goes, I can't do that. I'm rolling. What the? What do you mean you're rolling? <laughs> On a loaded trailer with three brake skidded tires? And he goes, well, man, I didn't think there was anywhere for you to work on it at ConAgra, so we're headed to the Flying J in Vandalia. <laughs> Yeah, unless you blow a tire or two or the DOT sees you. Yeah, it's, that's what I'm saying. If, he probably already, like, he's not new and he's trying oh, no, to make he's money. Not new. No. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's an know. older guy. Yeah, that's what them, them guys with experience does. They don't really care about certain stuff. Sign they right just there. go. Yeah. Sign right. finger, yeah. I'm like, so you're going to drive from Troy, Ohio to Vandalia, Ohio. With a bad on trip. Three on three tires, turned out to be five that are showing steel. Yeah, got to get that money, that mileage, right? Jesus Christ. That, right. yeah. That's that's yeah. yeah, they called in for three, so I brought four just in case get out there and I found five. I can come back and get another tire another out of the tire. And then coming back I got stuck in traffic for like three hours. <laughs> oh, there was shit. uh right about I think it was like the fifty six. Uh-huh. Had you. the highway completely shut down. I guess there was an accident involving a couple cars and a semi, and then some guy trying to get around the accident. Cut across traffic, and you know, right there, there's the on ramp. I think that's Stanley Avenue or whatever it is. Right. Tried to, he cut across the highway and tried to go down the on ramp Tuck. and head on to tow truck. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So that shut it down even fucking worse. I'm like, are you serious? <laughs> Man, you well, I mean, I just, right. And then the exit ramp was over this way back behind me. Uh huh. Yeah. And there were more cops down there, 
and there was a truck car parked next to me. I rolled down my window and I asked him, I'm like, man, what's going on? He said, all they're saying over the CB, uh, a car hit a deer and went into another car and got hit by a semi or something like that. And I'm like, well, what the hell's going on down here? He's like, oh, some guy didn't want to get caught in the backup, tried to flip a Yui and go down the on-ramp. There was a tow truck coming up to get one of the cars. And he hit the Didn't see truck. him coming around the corner and pow. Ah, damn. Now you get into more trouble just because you didn't want to wait. And now that on-ramp's blocked, so now, you know, emergency crews can't get down there till they get shit to clear the on-ramp, which makes everything take fucking long. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. It was, I think uh, I left Vandalia at, which is only like 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. I left Vandalia at 1.30. I got back here at 4.15. That <laughs> was, was hell of a time, man. Oh, I just, nothing was moving the whole time. Nothing. Wow. Oh, yeah. All right, man. Appreciate you, man. Yes, sir. You be safe. All right, man. Thank you. guys started explaining me some story i'm pretty sure you guys heard it but yeah all right all right all right call of the day guys a call of the day as you guys can see i parked i'm in front row front row you know why i'm bob telling right now and i didn't need no help to buy <laughs> to park okay and like i said i will come out of time even if it's even if I came late, I would still be able to park with no headache because I'm about telling, you know. But it, it, it will get there. I, I'll be a pro one day. But anyway, I call it a day. So now, let me do a little... Oh, so this morning when I wake up, which I'll show you guys, I was scaling that thing that um load i do like four we wait we wait okay to 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 um to scale it and i was still heavy on my steering i put it all the way that all the way back to california way all the way back to california way like on my 40s all the way back all the way all the way under under my my, my you know what i mean the 40 mark and that thing was still heavy on my steering so I call call Schneider I talked to them about it and they like okay and I'm pretty sure they can see the receipts because you know when you do that thing um they ask you for your truck number your trailer number your company plus you're paying with their card so I'm pretty sure they can see the they see the receipts so they see that I, 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 I I skated like four times and that thing still did not um I was still heavy on my thing but anyway they told me to go back to the customer so I can drop the return the load so they can work on it when I went there customer said they're not gonna pick it up they're not gonna take it it was like you take if you take that load it's your load they're not gonna do nothing with it they're like oh we don't fix we don't work on steering on, on steering if you're over with on your steering, we don't work on that. You, you figure it out. I'm like, what? Then I question at the back. They're like, no, you can't haul it because you're not legal. Okay? Because you're not legal. So, I stayed there. I got so much, so far straight. I stayed there for like about an hour. Was it an hour? Yeah. No, not, not hour, but... 30, 35 minutes, Schneider going back and forth with the customer, going back and forth with them. They don't want to take it. Schneider don't want to howl it. They don't want me to howl it. Then I call Schneider like two, three times. They say they're working on it. And the customer, they try to give me like uh, attitude. Like, bro, I, I'm just the driver. And I'm a rookie when I'm stuck in the middle, okay? I'm stuck in the middle of the whole mess. That's why it get to a point that I get so mad. I got so mad, y'all. So anyway, they say, customer was like, oh, it's the policy. They cannot take the load back. They don't take load back that overweight on steering if it was the trailer. 
they will take it, but they don't do that, blase, blase. I'm like, bro, y'all need to take that crap. Me, to be honest, I didn't, I don't want to drive with something that if I get stopped with, stop, they're going to, um, they're going to give me a ticket. And that's what Shanda was like, they're going to give you a ticket if they stop you with that because you're overweight. But anyway, I went to the customer. I was at the customer. They're like, oh, you can drive it. Are y'all listening to this? You can drive it or what they asked me about my fuel. Or if you're almost full, you can drive it and go to Ohio when you, you right now I'm in Ohio. Or when you drive to Ohio, there's no wait station. So by the time you 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 cross the state, you cross the state, your gas will be down and you'll be you'll be good, you'll be fine on your be like you'll be fine on your steering. I'm like, what? So basically they tell me to drive, burn some gas so I can be legal. On my steering and i tell you what i tell schneider the exact thing they told me china was like no the fact that they tell you to do that that is not good okay that is not good but then with the whole back and forth they was like oh what about you can you just move your fifth wheel first of all on my fifth wheel when i was at schneider when i was at the school they told me not to fuck with that fifth wheel thing okay so if I can be legal with my tandem slide, the Lord gotta be with you because I'm not gonna fucking up with the play around with that fifth wheel, sliding my fifth wheel because they teach me, they taught us that not to do that. I'm not saying I'm never gonna do it. When I when I'm getting hands on the, on stuff like I'm good with, you know, I got much experience, I probably gonna do that, like, you know. But right now, I don't wanna mess mess with that like i might be wrong but that's what i've been taught i've been taught not to do it okay so yeah man a lot of back and forth with the customer until they decide to drop it and and when they decide to drop it that's when they focus at the cost the customers it's, i was at their office they like giving me attitude and shit like that like it took me like uh took the good part in me in the you know not to um not to <laughs> but anyway then when i dropped the trailer i took the longest time i mean like 30 minutes to <laughs> to park it but hey i still parked the trailer it's still in there okay 30 minutes 30 minutes 30 some minutes to park it then i stay around for a long time then schneider take my loads out my assignments out so now i'm waiting on them to send me a load an assignment and they did not they told me to go to a truck stop and when, whenever they figure it out they're gonna send me something and i'm gonna receive it so yeah man so that's why I, I come here and park there was like a nearest pilot i parked there and then i'm gonna take a shower talk to the fan and then i'll be and i'll be waiting for the next load man tonight i'm gonna try to sleep early I'm try to sleep early man oh quick story y'all quick story <laughs> that's not even funny yo while i was waiting at the customer right you know the truck gotta stop the truck gotta stop behind like it's like a line okay so there was one swift guy man like i'm for real for real that guy literally forgot to set to put the truck on brake I don't know what happened. He get out the truck. That shit start going forward by itself. People was like, hey, 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 what's going on? You see the guy running, running, trying to get inside of the truck to stop the truck. I, I feel like maybe he did not put it on. Yeah, he didn't put it on brake or no true. I don't know, but he did something wrong. That shit was going. Like if there was somebody in front of, in front of the truck that wasn't paying attention, the truck would probably hit that person and probably be dead because that thing was moving like with, with low speed you know yeah man that was a that was a crazy situation man crazy situation i wish i could record it and show you guys but that was a crazy situation man but yeah man that was my day so basically i just basically i i i got one load and i didn't deliver it because all the headache breakdown again 
which I show you guys and go back to the shipper. I had to drive two hours back to the shipper because when I took, that's why I told you guys, I already say that, but I told you guys, when you pick up your load, make sure you go to the nearest, nearest, the nearest weight station to scale it. Not weight station, the nearest weight to scale it because the newest scale to weigh it because if it's too heavy man you have to go back to the customer yeah man you're gonna drive back again um it's crazy it's crazy so yeah that's where i'm at with it right now now i'm just waiting on them see if they're gonna send me something okay speaking of that let me check yeah man Yep, I haven't get nothing yet, so that was my fifth day, man. Fifth day on the job, and I still, I had to drop my load in Georgia, and I still didn't do it. So I had a good feeling that they're gonna send me back to take the same load after the customer takes some out. Hopefully they take some out, okay? And to be honest, I don't wanna go take that load no more, you know? Because with all, everything that happened today, the attitude and shit, and then that trailer wasn't no good either. But anyway, I'm out, guys. Make sure you guys subscribe, comment. That was my fifth day. And it's still going crazy. So like I told you guys, the reason why I'm doing this is to show you guys how things go. For me, how my experience was on my first week. So yeah, guys. So I'm out. Take care. Subscribe.